and welcome back to Let's See Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Episode 41. Oh, good. To, okay, so yeah, as I mentioned. Other than that, oh yeah, the training quest. Um, Shadow of the Mountains. Um, we were up in the Arctic Ridge doing a little research. All of a sudden, something really creepy and gross plopped down behind us. We managed to escape, but we can't do any research with that thing up there. Kezu, how you, uh, you know, how it's a fun joke, like the first time you see him, like, oh, you know, there's no music, and all that stuff, and after that, it just becomes annoying. It's like, just play some, the fucking music, please. Especially when he's in, like, really good music places like, um, Frozen Seaway and stuff like that. Especially when he, uh, stunlocks you to death on, like, the Frozen Seaway steps. Actually, uh, 8 is where I got the Kezu weapling, right? It's amazing how much just, uh, con oh yeah. It's amazing how much just, like, slightly improved controls make a game so much more fun and playable. Also, being super overpowered helps, too. Yeah, don't worry, he'll never see me. Isn't that fun? There's like a weird organ to his yell though. Yeah, it's because he doesn't actually have eyes. Isn't there some like weird thing like he has rudimentary eyes on his like wingtips or something? Oh, right, good. I mean, I'm literally using the oil for that, so.
And then uh, he's probably gonna start doing no, no doubles yet. Okay. Yeah, will you blade? I might as well block it. So Noodle, where's that healing, huh? Good. <laughs> Seven. Don't do it. You did it. You did it again. I hope your death was unfulfilling. Because your life sure as hell was unfulfilling for me. I'm sure there was a collecting point, but... I don't know why I use a stamina oil. Well, really, I was debating with myself. Do you want to capture this thing? Or because I didn't actually see it limp. But... Yeah, because he can't see you, the monster doesn't technically ever encounter you, so the music doesn't play. But, I mean, it's like, you know, oh, that's funny. But then it's like after your, like, fifth time funny, it's like, can I please listen to something other than just Kazuya or yells? seen his unique anime well unique animation unique set piece I guess really Hi. Oh, my accent seen better um, days playing the fungo um, sent me to the Missy Peaks to do a mushroom sea and all of a sudden those beasts were behind me long story short my bottom needs avenging I'm probably gonna find. I'd be very surprised if we don't get a bull drum. Because I'm sorry, we're about to point that. I think after a certain point, every single quest is like, go kill, like, you know, small monsters and whatnot. Are almost guaranteed to have, like, the bigger version. There's nothing going to be in there.
Yep, told you. I had a feeling. I mean, these things have really low health. Hmm. Back off. My kill. But yeah, this is a really good skyline, isn't it? I never even paid that much attention. Well, here's the thing. Missy Peaks uh, in 3U, like, they had, like, night and day being, like, you know, two different levels of monster or whatever, so... Yeah, I didn't necessarily even want to kill this thing. See, so yeah, apparently they, um, what, I think Royal Lujoth, uh, no, did they get rid of Royal Lujoth in Portable 3rd? I know that there was a couple, th I know that, um, the, the Mudfish Angler thing, um, Sadus, and then one more monster? I don't know if it was a guy, it could have been Lagaya, Chris. Hey, you never know, um, monster spawn locations for small ones have changed in the middle of a quest before, so... Case in point. Oh. Why do they come up from the earth? Like, why is that just a thing?
Wow. Only one hit is all it took. Whatever. There we go. Oh yeah, Blade I named myself, didn't I? Can make the head on a stick. I just need to become pink, even though pink's not really my style. Say so blue, purple, white, silver, black. Those, you know, that kind of uh, scale of coloring is. And then maybe some light. Uh, here's the thing: green is. Well, I don't really even. Have i a bit off my, I don't really do, um, favorites thing too much, I think, but. Like, my favorite color used to be green, but now I don't even know anymore. Like, now it's like, eh, not so much. Anyways, training, Chris. Gathering with your hands is fun and all, but mine is where it's really at. So, time to get down dirty and mine some iron ore for me. Sound good? <sighs> Fine. Guess who? That's right. It's the best instructor in the world. Here to teach you all about... By the way, this is a guy from Freedom Unite. Teach you all about the fine art of mining. It's back-breaking work, though. Sure, you're ready. All right. Just what I like to hear. Keep up the spirit and you'll be the instructor's pet. Not that it uh, gives you any perks. And now, remember how I told you before that sometimes you need special tools to gather items? Or you can go out and mine some iron ore. You'll need to take a look inside your supply box. Oh, it's mine now. Ah. There ought to be a pickaxe inside the supply box. Don't worry about the fact that it looks a little beat up. It'll still help you uncover items buried inside rocks, and that's all that matters. Yeah, it's strictly for mining, so while you won't be able to stick them in any monster hides, you'll find them plenty useful. Yeah, it'll let you extract the ore from bedrock. Oh. Remember, it's not using them, but sweat on the brows will make the hunter a hunter. Your work is sure to dig you up some rocks, so valuable you'll feel more like a treasure hunter. Bwah ha 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 ha. Well, you're not going to extract anything just sitting around waiting all day. Uh, go... What about air? Go take out the old pickaxe and supply box and uh, look for a place where you can mine yourself some iron ore. Why are these things so small? Mm. They're not that small, but...
On pedestal too, huh? And golden as well. Oh, you spoiled me. Ah. Too bad the golden thing generally means... Well, I, uh, you can get more amber, I think, that way. But that also gives you mac light, so it is actually good. Alright, some of that iron oil you'll need for your delivery. Try looking for rocks that sparkle. Indication that you can mine from that spot. Sometimes they're not so obvious. Those will keep your eyes peeled. How much do you want to bet that I'm not going to get any of it? That's it. That's the Glen of Iron Ore I've ever seen at it, but it's the top of the cliff. You must be shaking in your boots now. Oh, I'm also not a rock climber, so what? I'm going to climb the vines. Shredder only really gets fired up when the going gets tough, so embrace the challenge. All you got to do is to listen up. When you find a wall or a ledge that's solid than you, you climb up by facing and pressing the A button. Only your weapon is stashed away. Climbing stuff shouldn't be a problem for a big, strong hunter like you, right? Uh, once you're grabbing on a wall, uh, move the left stick to climb up and down. You'll have to do lots of climbing in hilly mountainous areas, so the sooner you get used to it, the better. Here, you can press the B button while moving the left stick to make yourself climb faster. Yeah, uh, stamina, gosh, not that it matters. Oh. Am I in the rock in front of you? That thing could have the iron ore you're looking for, so let's get work with uh, our. <clears throat> I'll pick up selected. I'll come to that rock and use a pickaxe to mine it. Now you use your pickaxe to mine something when you see a pickaxe icon floating over your head. And you do just press a button or manually select the pickaxe you want to use. Oh, that makes some sense. And press the Y button to get cracking at the rock. Oh, but uh, don't think pickaxes last forever unless you're a cat. Because I don't. Like your beloved instructor's heart, pickaxes can and will break after enough punishment. Sure, you're carrying spares whenever you decide to channel your inner miner. Bah-ha-ha! <laughs> That's how I'm under mines. You did great for you for some reason. Your hands a little dirty. Hey, you're just about ready to take up the whole mountain. Few things feel better as a hunter in this situation. Pick the right jewel for the job and get it done. Sword. That item you picked up for a mining ore, absolutely indispensable for making weapons, armor, and the like. So if you know what's good for you, you won't mind. It's the last time you ever pick up a pickaxe. Now, before you get back to base camp to deliver your iron ore, I want to tell you how you can clearly descend cliffs. You need the mining, just either dash or evade into the direction you want to go. To you with a great big jump and landing your feet like a big old feeling. Go and give it a shot. I really wonder what the game's gonna do if you do that. I don't, maybe there's a tutorial on how to like for because here's the thing: you can essentially make every single like required item. Like, I don't think it is possible to actually like soft lock yourself outside of a quest unless like something glitches or something like that. Which I've never actually seen this game glitch outside of, you know, oh, I'm between a moving monster's like legs and it's down, and now my character is like, um, trying to emulate the <laughs> two split, the two slit experiment. Existing in two places at one in a vibration wave. Right, and that's gonna be for this episode though. So enjoy the city, you know what to do. See ya. Oh, well, let's wait for this.
And now I'm enjoying sitting on to the sea.